After winning a lawsuit against the Seattle School District's math program, a parents group is taking the district to court again. This time, the target is a pricey science program that will change Seattle's Cleveland High School. King 5's Linda Brill has the story that's new at 6:30. The plan is to change Cleveland High School into a math and science magnet called STEM. It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Students know it's coming next year. I heard that like a lot of smart people are going to come next year, and so I think it's going to be a good thing. But STEM is expensive. The school district will pay $800,000 to a private Ohio company called New Tech Network to set up and run the program. If you're going to spend $800,000, you ought to get a product that's worth buying. This is not a product that's worth buying. At a time when the school district is already laying off 90 workers as it tries to trim as much as $25 million from its budget, these activists who have filed a lawsuit object to the STEM program. They fear Cleveland will be unfairly divided into two high schools with a flood of new kids forcing others out. These children won't have a, a neighborhood high school next year. That, that's really my umbrella complaint about it. Some students fear their high school would be split in two. It's going to be more like divided into people that are interested in more of math than just a general school. A group of parents just won a lawsuit over Seattle's new math textbooks. The district is appealing. That victory has emboldened parent activists to file another lawsuit against the district. They just have no idea how to spend money effectively. The Seattle School District will not comment on the litigation, but they will be required to respond to the lawsuit by March 25th. In Seattle, Linda Brill, King 5 News. The school district did say in January that the New Tech Network has a proven track record for establishing STEM high schools.